Hey there, everybody. It's Rama Ducati. I've been waiting to shoot this video for a minute. I'm not quite ready, but... So now we got an 8.2 stroker. 63 millimeter four valve. This is a 206 cc four valve now. My first day really getting it going. As I meant to show y'all, I got stickers for the front. We got those Angel Demon Halos on there. I think that left one is kind of acting up already. I don't really know, man. They off eBay. They from America, but you know, they probably from China, so I might have to replace one of those. This is 206 cc right here. I was going with the water cooled. I got the whole water cooled kit. But then my man, um, my man told me that with the 8.2 stroker and the 63 millimeter without the uh, extra tall cylinder or something like that, even with a spacer, he said it was great. He said that the 8.2 stroker would break my cylinder. That water cooled cylinder is 400 bucks, so I didn't want to break that. So it's just sitting in the garage right now doing nothing. And I'm real mad about it. Check this out. I'm going to pop the seat right here and let y'all see what's going on under there. I got my lithium battery on the way, but right now I'm just running a regular a Walmart battery. I had a smaller lithium battery. I sent it back and ordered a big one. I'm going to kind of customize that hole a little bit, shave it to accept the big old 480 CCA lithium battery. You know, make sure I always got power. But... Here, I want y'all to check that out right there. See that? That's electric fuel pump. That's a Edelbrock fuel pump and 
a fuel pressure regulator right there. This Edelbrock fuel pump was 50 bucks at O'Reilly's, but I really like it. I bought one of those cheap ones, the gold ones, for 12 bucks off eBay. And that's what I was running last year when y'all seen me. That lasted for a year, and then not even that, and it stopped working, period. The thing was having seizures whenever you turn it on. Bike wouldn't start no more. So if you're gonna go electric fuel pump, I would go ahead and go with a name brand the first time. Edelbrock, Holly, something like that. Uh, there's another one, Mr. Gasket. Those are pretty good too, but beware of the cheap fuel pump. See, got them demon eyes in there now. Got them stickers on the front, baby. I turn that switch on. You can see these boys. One second. I'm loving that. I love it. When I ride down the street, man, it's so nice. Oh yeah, also, down in here, we got a 16 row oil cooler. I customized my system to take this oil cooler. It's the same uh, sandwich that everybody else has right here. It's the same sandwich, but I, I made the lines fit is basically what I did. I ordered everything AN8 size and um chop the uh chop these cords here these uh i got a braided um oil lines made them fit this here cooler ordered the cooler custom and threw it on there that's a 16 row oil cooler baby i was gonna keep that and add an extra radiator for the water cool but like i said my man said the 8.2 stroker was too much i don't know if you need an extra an extra uh spacer or what and I had the spacer he said it was still gonna break I needed the longer sleeve and Tater doesn't make that water cooled cylinder with the longer sleeve you know the cylinder wall so it's a big pain in the butt trying to go with that 8.2 stroker you know I thought I had it all figured out but I'm gonna say for the average Joe I wouldn't go any bigger than that six millimeter stroker because you run into all types of problems if you're not going bigger than a 63 millimeter piston with that 8.2 stroker 63 millimeter piston on down i wouldn't go any higher than the six and it runs damn good at 199 cc's anyway but right now it's 206 i wanted to try it this way it's my baby kind of love the way that edelbrock sit in there you know that uh fuel pump looks real nice with the bike and stuff those are the uh same mounts that the factory garbage gas system was set up at never mind that and i'm loving her baby like i said hot system gauges no good order a different kind of gauge they cheap but I still haven't buttoned up my dash and everything like that because still just in case I need to do anything else to it but she pulled pretty strong man 206 cc that's where it's at baby so I'm turn it on. everything come on like that with the switch hear that fuel pump humming see if I can start it again Y'all let me know what y'all think. I have another video on here for y'all soon, man. What's up, Night Rider 44? Holla.